Hello, hello, crafty friends. It's Courtney Brickner, the CB behind the Crafty Brick. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am in a rush today, but I wanted to share this project with you because I got invited to a Detroit Lions party and it's today. Um, I, I got invited like last night, so I'm, I'm last minute, but it's not really my fault, but whatever, that's beside the point. I need a shirt to wear. So I'm going to design something really quickly in Leonardo Design Studio. I am going to use some silver metallic puff and some blue, what is this? The Walla Cut Express HTV. So I'm using these two. I got a little sweatshirt from Target and I'm gonna make this project happen within the next 20 minutes. So come with me, let's design it, let's cut it, let's press it and see what we get. I only got one chance, so fingers crossed. Okay, here we go. We're in Leonardo Design Studio. I'm gonna go to text. Let's see, click that again. And I am going to click lions. And I think I'm gonna do impact. So I'm gonna come over here to the left side, find the impact font, click apply. I'm going to make it, I'm gonna do 10 inches. So we got this. Now what I would like to do is go to text, actually unhighlight that because if I, if it's highlighted and I go to text, then it's fixing, like changing some, editing that particular word. That's not what I wanna do. I wanna get out of lion so it's not highlighted. Click text again and I want to do Detroit, but I think I want it to be, I, mm, do I like I love Christmas, I love glitter. I love glitter. How about that? Let's change the color so we can see it better. I'm going to change it to red. All right. Make that a little bigger. All right. Now we're going to do knockout text here. So I'm going to highlight the Detroit. Come down here to build contours. I want an editable contour. Let's make it larger than our words here. I want it to be maybe like, I want all of them to touch. There you go, we'll do that. So let's apply that. Now I'm going to take the red, move it out of the way. I'm gonna highlight these, make sure that they are centered. They are. So now I'm gonna highlight both and go to um, stamp keep. That is going to knock out that middle part of the lions. But you know what? It's actually bigger than what I wanted it to be. So let's undo that. I don't like how big that knockout is. So let's do it again. Add a contour editable contour. I think I just want it to just be a little bit, maybe get that eye to connect the dot of the eye. How about that? Now let's move the contour up here. I think this will be better. Highlight it, center it. Now highlight it. Stamp keep. I think that is better. All right, let's go ahead and send this to Juliet to cut. All right, Puff does not like uneven surfaces. So this seam here and here, I think it messed up that end, but I'm gonna try and fix it. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to my design, move this Detroit out of the way, highlight these. Um, I'm going to ungroup the paths, move that out of the way. Actually, let me, let me duplicate it so I can have the same thing. So let me move all of that off. 
I'm going to delete the LIO and I'm going to delete the S. All I'm printing is the N. So let's see if we can fix it. All right, let's turn Juliet on. We will put in, actually, let me make sure we We've got enough space. I don't even know if I have enough material. Um, but I will do, let's bring it over here so it's on all the rollers. I will do, actually, this one is not on a roller, so I want to make sure that it's on that roller, on the grip roller on the bottom. All right, we are good with all the rollers. Now what I would like to do is an area test. So right here, I'm going to click area test just so it can tell me, do I have enough material for this project? I do. Perfect. All right. Now we'll do my cut settings. I'm on metallic puff. All right, and then we will, it's mirrored and we're gonna send to cutter. All right, I've got my heat press almost heated all the way up. Let's put my sweatshirt here. We're gonna do a little pre-press. Then I've got my design. I'm gonna line up. I'm gonna line up the words first. Go ahead, put it into place. Actually, let me get the center. All right. Now we're good to go. Remove that top and then we'll press the bottom layer first. All right, let's go ahead, press this layer and then we will press our next layer. All right, looking good so far. Now with our puff, we need to do two presses. So we'll do the first press for eight seconds or 10 seconds. We'll peel off that, we'll peel it hot. And then we're gonna press one more time. up here. Dang it. Not happy about that. Not happy about that. All right, since this N isn't really touching any other puff letters and it's really not near them, I'm pretty confident that I can do this fix. So I'm going to put my little mini press on the inside here. And I'm going to remove this puff. Let's get my weeding tool. 
I'm pretty confident that this surgery is going to go well. Let's just get this puff off of here. We're going to regroup. and fix this section. All right, I'm cutting out these two parts of the end. I just cut those. Let's see if we can make this work. All right, that part worked, the upper part didn't. Hmm. A little bumpy. That one worked, but that one didn't. I'm gonna try one more time. Okay, friends, project is finished. I have a shirt for the party. Was it a perfect process? No, it was not. Um, is it perfect in the end? No, not exactly. That end is still not great, but is it gonna work for this party? It sure is. So I don't know what to say. It didn't like these seams right here, so it did not give it even pressure. I feel like the puff is really a great and fun material, but it's kind of fickle in my opinion. It needs perfect conditions and it did not like this. So it's okay, it all worked out. I was able to be a little uh, vinyl surgeon again, like I always am, and I made it work. So thank you for being here with me. I hope the Lions win and I'm gonna go to the party now that I've got my shirt. It took me a little longer than 15 minutes, but it's okay, I have it. Uh, thanks for watching. I know that it, you could be doing anything else right now, but you're tuning into me and I really appreciate that. I'll be back next week with some more crafty content. Until then, stay crafty, my